Hi, I'm Alan. Uh, Emily, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just texting my students to let them know they have an exam on Friday. Well, it's time to start the show. Oh, okay, well, good. Um, actually, it's quite relevant because today's episode is about texting tools to interact and communicate with students. OMG! W-D-K-Y-O-M-Y-S. One of the most used and most vilified applications on mobile phones is texting. Some students prefer text communication as it's more mobile, typically more concise, and the exchange is generally more immediate. Texting lends itself best to communications like alerts, reminders, words of encouragement, course updates and changes, most anything that can be summed up in a sentence or two. And since students do not need to be logged into your course or even have a smartphone, they might receive and read your message sooner rather than later, or never. Right, but they do need to have a phone, right? Well, not really. <laughs> Mobile devices certainly make things more accessible, but anyone can sign up for a Google Voice number and use the texting features there. Google Voice is also a great way to keep your personal cell phone number private. Won't all this texting lead to and encourage poor writing skills? The research doesn't suggest as much. According to David Crystal's work, Texting the Great Debate, hmm. the most prolific texters are those who score highest on standard writing tests. Can I borrow that? Yeah, sure. Hmm. If you are concerned about students texting with abbreviations and emoticons you don't understand, Consider creating a texting etiquette assignment that includes all the appropriate behavior you expect from students. I do an email etiquette assignment with all my classes and it works wonders. Another mobile device tool related to texting is Poll Everywhere. Poll Everywhere is a web application that you can use to post a question. And the students or audience can text in their answer using their mobile phone. This could be an alternative to clickers and may be useful in a KTS class where not all the students are in the same room. The polls update in real time and can be embedded directly into your regular course PowerPoints. The results are also saved on the Poll Everywhere website. Use of Poll Everywhere is free for a small classroom use up to 30 users. Above that, there is a small fee involved. Students should also be aware that their normal texting fees, depending on their service plan, do still apply. So yes, there are obviously some issues with requiring texting for everyone. Yet, there's little use in denying the reach this form of communication has in our students' lives. TFW.